goddamn right. And you're gonna make a difference. This one comes with a basic sort of digital package. Hey, you can make money off my name, make it, okay? You got the power to change lives, right? Hello and welcome to the Barry J. McDonald podcast. If you're interested in creating your own digital product or just want to learn more, you're in the right place. Whether you're just starting out or have been working on your digital product for a while, we hope that our podcast will provide valuable insights and inspiration to help you on your journey. Take it away, Barry. Hi, this is Barry here, and you are very, very welcome to today's podcast episode. Today's podcast episode, I want to give you a bit of advice, and that is to remember that you are not your work. Now, what I mean by that is a lot of us who are content creators or who are creative sometimes tie ourselves really, really closely to our work, you know, which is understandable because, you know, we set time aside, we put our thoughts into a blog post or a podcast episode or maybe a Kindle book and it's us that's in that content. And then we hit publish, that content goes out there and then we find that it's criticized, sometimes ridiculed and sometimes it's successful. And sometimes we are on an emotional roller coaster. You know, when it's doing well, we think we are the most talented person ever. And when it doesn't do well, well, it means something about us. You know, I remember when I think back a couple of years when I got into kids fiction writing and got into romance writing, which, although they may be looking for love, those readers, they can be really, really critical if you're not a good writer. And I remember some of the reviews I used to get on my books. Now, at the time, I did try and write the best romance book I, books I could, but that criticism sometimes really, really did sting. Some of the things they had said kind of got me down and it almost put me off fiction writing for a while because I thought all those comments and all that negativity was focused at me. Now, these people had never met me. I didn't know them. We never come in contact with each other. And it was only then I realized that it wasn't actually me that they were criticizing. It was criticizing the book that I had wrote. And what I needed to do was I needed to step back. Now at the time, because I had wrote that book, because I had, you know, put my heart and soul into the book and give birth to that book, it was almost like a parent watching their child being bullied and kind of ridiculed and made fun of and everything. You just want to step into that fight and you want to stand up for them. So what I would say to you is that if you are creating content today, blog posts, videos, podcasts, or even doing maybe something creative, whatever it is, always remember that you are not your work. Now, we always try and do our best. I don't think there's anyone who has ever tried to write a bad blog post or tried to record a bad podcast episode or or tried to write a terrible fiction book. We all try and do our best. But you need to remember that when you hit publish on that content, it's gone. It's off on its own little journey. And sometimes we, although want it to have the best art in life, Sometimes you will find that, you know, that content will just maybe go down quicker than the, quicker than the Titanic that no one ever notices. Again, sometimes you put content out that you don't really think is going to do well and then you find then it's one of your most popular pieces. But again, sometimes again, when we are successful, we again tie ourselves closely to that. We think that we're maybe more skilled, more talented or think that we're amazing and then we put something else out and it sucks. So as I said, we kind of go on this emotional roller coaster when we feel good about ourselves and we feel bad about ourselves. And you can't keep going on like that because, you know, if you have a, a lot of kind of down times or down days, it will kind of make you want to give up. It'll make you think, well, that you've lost your skill or talent or you're just not good enough anymore. But what I would say to you is that sometimes you just need to push it away from yourself. You know, relax a little bit. Realize that you're doing your best you can. Sometimes it will do well, sometimes it won't do well, but it's the work that's been judged, not you. And not to tie yourself so closely to it, because when you think about it, the pieces that we record, like this video here or, and the podcast episode, it's just a tiny frozen segment in time. You know, however many minutes we are here together, that doesn't kind of sum me up as a person. It is just a, a frozen moment in time. And for you to think that this moment in time is something that you can judge me on as a person, as a whole... It's crazy. And it's going to be the same with your work too. You know, whatever blog post you might write, again, it's a frozen moment in time of what you were like at that moment. That doesn't mean the person you are next week is as terrible as maybe the person this week. You know, it's got no relevance to you. 
So remember that if you are putting something out there, hit publish, let it go, let it go off on its own. And if people do criticize it, they are usually criticized. Now you will get the odd person who simply just wants to take something on personally and wants to attack you personally yourself. But the majority of criticism is usually just aimed at the content that you create. And again too, there will be days when, you know, I think all of us try and do our best work, but there will be days when you, you know, do okay work, maybe terrible work, maybe great work. And if you're kind of tying yourself to those different kind of levels that you're at, I'm sure you can see that you're just going to be zipping up, up and down, up and down with how good you are, how bad you are, how talented you are, how much you suck. So really, you know, when you think about it, it's crazy to tie yourself so much to a content because you never know what's going to happen. I don't know if this podcast episode could be successful. It could sunk. It could it could sink down into, you know, it might be the worst podcast episode I'll ever record or maybe nobody will watch this video. I don't know, but I'm just going to put it out there because it's something that I think needs to be said and hopefully that, you know, you'll take on that advice and then you won't take whatever criticism you get or whatever success you get, you know, too well. As Gary Vee says one time, you know, the worst thing you can probably do is listen to your critics and the worst thing you can also do is probably listen to the people who worship you because both people are going to pull you one way or the other. You know, the critics are going to make you think that you're the worst ever. And the people who worship you are going to make you think that you are the greatest thing ever, which could be wrong in both cases. You might be better off kind of focusing on the middle ground and doing the best work you can there and just taking your head out of the game, just showing up, writing your content, recording your content and just leaving all the criticism and all the worshipping to your audience to do. But just don't get so involved in it because, as I said, if you get too much criticism, you'll want to stop. And if you get too much kind of praise, you'll think maybe that you're far better than you are and you might need to show up as much as much and that you might not actually put as much effort into your work because you think you're so good. So give that some thought today. As I said, you are not your work. Put it out there, step back from it and just show us what you've got. Have a lovely day. Bye bye. Thanks for listening. If you're interested in learning more about how to create your own profitable digital course from scratch. We have a special report that we know you'll love. To pick up your copy of Piggyback Profits, how to make your first profitable course, go to writecom.com now. We'll see you in the next episode.